Hello, my beautiful Pisces. Welcome to your weekly love forecast horoscope for August 21st to the 27th. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you'd like a personal read with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And as you guys know, I will be um, starting a new channel soon. It's gonna be up around August. 29th so stay tuned I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more information about it as we get closer I'll probably do that in the either community tab or I'll let you guys know here so all right so we're gonna go over your day today your love interest feelings the block choice and challenges and the overall outcome and if you guys like it this way you want me to continue this way hit that like button let me know in the comments below you can do both let's jump right in what's gonna happen with my Pisces Romantic Love Life for August 21st to the 27th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm going to shuffle all three decks, guys, just so we can just jump right in here. What's going to happen my Aquarius's Romantic, excuse me, Pisces Romantic Love Life for August 21st to the 27th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see a lot of times you'll say stuff like that and you know it's probably meant for somebody here okay so so if you guys are dealing with an Aquarius just uh, be aware that this could be part of your reading okay so I'm gonna have my Pisces romantic love life for August 21st to 27th show me the cards I need to see show me the cards I need to see okay so Pisces let's lay down your cards here so we got the Ace of Wands, we got the Nine of Pentacles, and we got the Page of Cups. We got the Devil card energy. We got the Ace, um, the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Three of Pentacles, and we got the Hangman. So this is going to be your love interest feelings. And then let's take a look at the block this week. Okay, so the Magician. So some of you guys may be trying to manifest something here with the Magician card energy. Maybe you don't feel like you have an ideal situation. And possibly some of you guys are really focused on money this week. Okay, maybe you need to bring things into balance. Maybe you feel like you don't have everything in place here with the magician card energy. Maybe you feel like someone's trying to be manipulative because that also can be in the negative side of the magician card is when someone's manipulating a situation. Okay, so let's keep going. And we see that there's the overall energy. Let's see what the bottom of the deck says. Four of Wands talks about a marriage, a happy home, and or a solid foundation here. But there is a person that keeps going round and round in their thoughts. Like they're trapping themselves in their thoughts. Wanting to hold on to a situation here and about to take a sudden action to speak a truth. Okay, so we got the Ace of Wands here. So remember this is going to be for August 21st. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th. So let's see. You got an opportunity coming in here. Ace of Wands energy. Something passionate in nature. I feel like it's work-related. Some of you guys may be aware that there's a work-related situation going on here. Because if I mirror this card, this Ace of Wands is next to the Page of Cups, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. There's a potential passion opportunity that's going to turn into a love opportunity. But it's somebody that could be around you and there's something to do with money and finance involved with this somehow okay or this uh this person has a sense of independence also we see a mean person card coming out which could be you could be the love interest also this card can be represented as a, like a like the queen energy like a nurturing supportive energy and some choices are being made about this opportunity nines talk about fulfillment of desires and we see there's some changes coming in for you guys. We see they're gonna receive some good news and love with the Page of Cups energy by the 23rd. And it's definitely feeling very lucky for you. With the, the uh, this card de definitely deals with um, abundance of luck. And we go further on this and we see there's this power move being made pertaining to this opportunity. This is a bit abrupt and sudden for you guys. Um, we see that there is some kind of apology or a reconciliation or with this message of love, this could be somebody you've dealt with before, okay? This is a new person, I feel like. This Ace of Wands is a new person. And I do feel like it's somebody around work. 
I feel like there is some changes happening and you guys are having this sense of independence, doing something on your own, maybe focus on finances on the 22nd, maybe doing some traveling on this day. And you're kind of like cutting away unhealthy things from the past here. But it looks like there's a message that's coming in, a potential love connection here. Okay, and someone who really wants to hold on to this, they really want to hold you close to them. Again, we could see this could be work related here, okay, or there is an abundance of apologies going on here for some kind of abrupt decision that was made. Okay, we see that your person seems to be obsessively thinking about you. We got the devil card energy. They keep thinking about you and they're trapped in their thoughts here. They don't know how to stop this. There definitely seems to be this obsessive card going on here. Let's go further here. We see that there's definitely an overwhelming energy here. I feel like the, you feel like this person's a little bit much for you, actually. They're very obsessive to the point where they're a little bit much, okay? Uh, you, you feel like you're in the, the, the state of like, okay, they're just, they're too much. They're overwhelming me, okay? Again, the obsessive, so you're really aware that this person has these obsessive thoughts about you. And it's, it's definitely an overwhelming kind of energy to the point where you're feeling like this is so much, this is too much, okay, too much. Um, so we go through to the 25th and we see timing is working in your favor, luck is on your side. But there's some stuck energy here. It's like you're stuck here or you're feeling there's some kind of stagnation here when it comes to a letter, message, or document. So I feel like this person was gonna reach out to you and text you here because they feel a little bit stuck about the situation and they feel like it's time. Again, I feel like this person you could work with, okay, with the Three of Pentacles energy. There could be more than one person involved with your situation, also with Three of Pentacles energy, or there's a want to try to find a creative solution here, with the Three of Pentacles energy, towards a friendship, okay, and a happy outcome with the Sun card energy coming out. We see by the 27th here, okay, we got the hangman energy. I also wanna get a little bit more clarity, by the way, on this attack kind of energy. What is this about, please, on the 24th? What's all that about? Why does Pisces feel so overwhelmed by this person? What's that about? Show me cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so there's some kind of loss. Loss in patience, you lose your patience. Hmm. Because of this person wanting to get some kind of change around the situation, wanting to travel towards you, wanting to go out here. Maybe they wanna take you on a travel vacation here because of luck and a surprise. And there's some issues there, some self-doubt in healing a situation because someone who really wants to be helpful, they're trying to take control of things because of this hopeful energy. Okay, so they're trying to do stuff. They're, they're trying to, there's a little bit, they're getting a little bit smugly, I, I guess, here um, because you're losing your patience with them. Um, okay, so we got the hangman energy here and it's saying that there's something that you're like kind of stuck in the middle. You're like, okay, I'm stuck in the middle. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should go here or here. So let's see what that's about. So there's concerns about some false energy, some lying, deceptions, okay, going on here. And about timing here, okay. So I feel like this card is more of us, you being strategic here. You're trying to be strategic, because the cat energy is kind of like, um, all right, so let's talk about cat energy. What do cats do? Cats are like, hey, what's up? I really enjoy being around you. But then when they don't wanna be bothered with you, they're not bothered with you. So it's kind of like, um, I feel like it's like with this person, you feel like this person's too much. And so you're kind of like, I need to be strategic and just do this when I'm ready to do this because honestly, sometimes this person just overwhelms me. 
because I know they are really, really obsessed with me and they have really strong desires for the connection, but it kind of scares me a little bit, you know? It's a little bit too much for me. All right, because they, they can't stop thinking about you. They obsessively think about you morning, noon, and night here. And uh, we see that there's a power move being made here to cut away unhealthy things from the past, and it looks like there's a healing energy. We see there's an obsession here and a lot of text message, letters and documents, and a sense of happiness here, and things are aligning in your favor. Going further, we see that there's this person, some changes, movement. Also, the ship car can talk about long distance, possibly, but we see there's some big changes. But definitely with that card here, that talks about overindulgence and strong obsessions which is leaving you a little bit stuck in a friendship. And uh, we see that there is some kind of concerns there around that. Okay, go going further. Okay, so we see there's this potential opportunity and some Separation, some uh, alone time here, Nine of Pentacles energy. We see there's this potential love connection it really wants to hold on to you. There's a lot of obsessive energy here around it. And we see that luck is on your side, but it's like I need to find a creative solution here, Three of Pentacles energy, because I feel a little bit stuck or stagnant here. Because this person makes you feel a little bit stuck here. Um, let's go further here and let's see what the. And they also maybe with the devil card energy, it could be a little bit controlling, okay? A little bit controlling, maybe a little bit toxic there with the devil card energy. And since I see the magician, maybe they're trying to manipulate you to spend more time with them also. Could that also could be the case with the, the magician being there as the blockage this week? How does your love interest feel about you? They feel that there's strong love here, Ace of Cups energy, but there's some crossroads or indecisions within them about uh, a relationship or whether or not you'll make a choice with the heart here. So they love you, but there's indecisions or they're at a crossroads about this relationship or they want a relationship with you, but they don't understand why there's some indecisions about it. Okay, your person feels like if there could be this breakup, they could kiss and make up with you, if they could take a leadership role here. Okay, so. So they love you, so this person must have been somebody you've dealt with before, or they're coming out of relationship, or you're coming out of relationship, because they have love for you, Ace of Cups energy, but there's at a crossroads about this kissing and making up, because there was something to do with this breakup, and we see there's something to do with this person in a relationship. So it looks like very soon they're gonna make a decision. They may consult friends, or, um, they're gonna to try to be your friend until you're single and available here to pursue. So you may still be coming out of a relationship or still kind of like in a relationship there. Okay, so let's keep going here. Let's get more information on this magician. Mm. So definitely some issues here. Some issues here with some manipulation and stuff, okay. And very cautious and defensive about it. So you're seeing some red flags, okay. So you're seeing some red flags here. And so you're concerned about it. You're a little bit cautious and defensive about it. Hmm. Let's see the overall energy here. Okay, so there's a want to invest time in the connection, Seven of Pentacles energy, but you're really confused about what to do with Seven of Cups energy. You're like, okay, does this really fulfill my desires? Like, it's like everything that I want, but I'm still confused about whether or not this is really something I want to invest time in. There's some kind of effort and some shock and surprise about how things are coming together. So it's like, I should be patient to see how things play out within it comes to this soulmate connection, this relationship, until I gain more knowledge about it. So I feel like you guys are like, okay, I'll invest time in this. And I'm really shocked and surprised about this effort, but then you're kind of like, you see how there's a crab hand here with a regular hand there? It's like. There's concerns about the agreement or the connection here that's just a little bit shocking and surprising for you. It's, you feel like it's coming together. It's like there's a lot coming together here, but there's, there is some confusions here, Seven of Cups energy, about what you want to do. 
when it comes to fulfillment of your desires. You're like, I need to gain more knowledge here, give it more time. This is a happy surprise. We see there's a text message letter, a document, and a lot of strong desires. There's the devil card energy. Okay, we see there's regrets about making the effort because of people. Okay, so there may be other, maybe more than one person involved with your situation, two Pisces. Um, okay, let's go further. You're trying to get some kind of clarity here, but there's a lot of desire, strong desire here to end this situation, okay, with the death card energy. Hmm. You see family long term, feeling a little bit defeated about this offer of love, King of Cups energy. Is this the best decision for me when it comes to love, King of Cups energy? Confusions because of an ex-partner and an opportunity here, key card energy. So this person that's very obsessive could be an ex-partner or there could be somebody still attached to an ex-partner or there's still concerns about the next partner here. So there's a lot of effort being put into this because of love and a wanting a relationship. So it seems like things are working out, but then there's a lot of concerns because maybe it's too much, maybe you're not ready. Okay, maybe you feel overwhelmed by this person because they really wanna love you, they really want a relationship, they wanna offer you serious love, there's this opportunity here but you're kind of still kind of confused about what to do, possibly because you're still dealing with an ex energy or there's still you're still healing from somebody from the past. So it's a little bit much for you. You feel maybe you're being a little bit rushed, maybe for some of you guys, okay? Because it's showing me you're confused about these strong desires and it's like, I'm feeling defeated, okay? And it's like, I should give it some time before I get some clarity because of family and long term. It's like, I want to fulfill my desires here, but this ending here, I'm still attached, okay? Or something still hasn't completely ended here, and this person really deeply loves me, King of Cups energy. I want to be patient because I still have these regrets. I'm still dwelling on the past situation, and I'm confused. And we see this relationship wanting to make an effort, but there's this ex-partner here. We see, I need to gain knowledge. There's people here, and we see an opportunity. Okay, all right, my beautiful Pisces. I wanna hear from you guys in the comments below. I know this is a bit of a cliffhanger, yes. And just be careful, you should, I wanna get you guys some advice actually, considering this reading here. All right, so can I have some advice for my Pisces for the highest, best good when it comes to their romantic love life? What should they do for their highest, best good spirit? Show me the cards I need, see? Show me the cards I need, two. Okay, so they're saying that you don't want to keep going around in circles and circles and, you know, try to be so flexible here in the potential, but you can go the distance here, all right? But give yourself some time alone, okay? So you can clear the air, so you can heal. Because we see that there is people here in your life or there's people involved with the situation. And it has to be an equal exchange here. And it does seem like you need some support here and you need to make a fair decision, right? A just fair decision instead of feeling like you're trapped between two different worlds. So I would say a spirit saying to you, I know you're trying to be flexible in the situation and you're trying to go the distance and you're at a loss about what to do here, but give yourself that time, okay? Because you do have to, re you have to resolve these things of the past first and you need that time, okay? And it needs to be brought into balance so you can make a fair decision, okay? Instead of just trying to, to do it at the same time and being stuck between two different worlds here. Because you'll be surprised, right? You gotta make a decision, a choice here. And you're still questioning a lot about the why and wanting to heal the situation and still focus on these regrets of the past and you're going round and round in circles here. And so you gotta be able to take a risk, a leap of faith to someone new. This has to be mended though. And you'll know when it's time, when you're ready, okay? Just pay attention to signs, listen to your intuition, your higher self. 
because your higher self always knows best. All right, my beautiful Pisces, I love you guys so much. If you guys liked it, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys another day or two. And I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.